well, having those little things to cherish, especially when you've experienced, you know, what it can be like if one day it all changes, it gets you so much more appreciative in the sense of like, thank God for this moment. I'm so happy. I am under the impression that things will change eventually, right? Like once you move in with your partner, like your lifestyle and their lifestyle are going to kind of collide and then you you create this like harmonious way of living and it's different it's change is scary right especially for me because i'm an only child like it's always been about me i'm so uh in touch with my faith that i believe that you know whatever's meant to happen will happen i have a strong um just intent with myself and god in terms of i'll accept anything that comes my way i'm not afraid of like getting married and thinking that all my dreams and aspirations are going to go on hold if anything i feel like the right partner will add so much value to that and uplift you in so many ways and be your backbone and i want to be that for someone too i want to uplift someone's life i want to bring uh motivation and just like you know efforts into their life that make it better when you have like found yourself it becomes so easy to allow anybody else in your life what's good everybody welcome back to the demo podcast it's neela and it is adis what's up family how's your day it's Happy Mother's Day. It is Mother's Day. <laughs> I just got back from dinner with my mom. Shout out Mo. She's in the building. What's up, Moji? We Hi. went to dinner. We had really good, you know, good good times. Always cherishing the quality times. It's just nice. I, like, Mother's Day and Father's Day are, like, uh, it's a really, really wholesome uh, holiday, right? Because it's just giving thanks to, you know, the people that put you on this earth and stuff. And it it's also, like, sad uh, at the same time because, like, a lot of people lose their family members and stuff like that. So it's a moment of, um, I just noticed it online. I saw like a TikTok on someone who lost their parent and I'm sure you guys understand, right? Like it's very, very, it brings you so much closer to the idea of like your loved ones and like cherishing the people around you. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I thought about it. I'm just like, this is one of those good holidays mm -hmm. because you know, some holidays like Columbus Day, you think back of the the real reality of what it stands for and like Thanksgiving slaughter of Native Americans and we're just celebrating. This is a, a holiday that it's appreciated. I think, I don't know if Mother's Day and like Father's Day, there are certain holidays that are just American holidays. I don't know if this is celebrated kind of like world. nation, yeah, yeah, yeah worldwide. But I think these are special. It's important to have a day dedicated to our mothers, to our fathers. You know, they even have like National Siblings Day now. I mean, there are things that are made up now through socials, but like it's so important to take the time to sit down and really reflect and, and honor and appreciate certain individuals in our lives. You know, even though like today I woke up and I was doing my rounds this morning of my text messages and callings like at 8 a.m. before anyone was awake. And I was just alhamdulillah going down the list of like, it was a new year for some mommies that I was saying happy Mother's Day to them for the first time. And it was so nice, right? And then there was like other moms that I was just like, yo, you inspire me every day with what you do. And then you sit there and you're like, wow, like maybe one day I'll have this opportunity and it'll be my first Mother's Day. Like who knows, you know? So I think it's just another reality of like, uh, yeah, wholesome in a sense, but also taking a moment to just stand where you're at versus the everyday repetitive, like, okay, go, go, go. And just cherishing, you know, what we have. I sat and had dinner with my family tonight, my nephews, my sisters, my mom, my brother-in-law. And like, it was such a wholesome moment. And we've had so many moments like this. And it's not often you come together and just appreciate, you know, the day or the, the um, just company of each other because we're always on, again, go, go, go. So having those little things to cherish, especially when you've experienced, you know, what it can be like if one day it all changes, it gets you so much more appreciative in the sense of like, thank God for this moment. I'm so happy. It's so nice. So I like it. And, you know, every day it's it's one of those things where like I show my mom love every day, at least. And her, maybe she won't say that. Maybe she, not, if anything, <laughs> right, Mo? She's like, maybe not. Like she'll be like, <laughs> the other day she was like, you know, you don't come for days. And the second you come, you just always cause problems. <laughs> and I was like, but it's like affection, you know, like it's how I show my, my love. Um, but, you know, we I show my mom love every day, but it's I, I love that they have a day specific to that for your mother, your father, how, whatever, whoever that means to you. You know, like it doesn't have to necessarily be your mother. But do you think that uh, so I had this conversation uh, with Sarah. Do you think that you're 
going to have to prepare for motherhood or like, do you think there will be an aha moment in your life where you're like, okay, now I'm ready for kids. Right. Yeah. Or do you just kind of figure it out? Like, even for me, like I always, fi always figured like with marriage, when I get married, like I have to be hundred percent ready and then like check these boxes and figure this out. And, and then I can get married and then I'll have kids once I do this. But like, I think about like our parents and stuff. It was never that it was just like, it happened and then they had to adjust and then they figured it out. And that's like kind of how life is, right? Like even with the job, you're going to think that you have the tools, but until you jump in, right? Like, do you think you have to just be prepared for it? I don't know. That's so funny. Yesterday, Modi and I went to a birthday party, one of Mo's really good friends. And um, I, I mean, it's beautiful to see her transition into a mother with a baby who just turned one and then another one on the way. And um, we had a moment where we were just, I was just like, yeah, this isn't for me. <laughs> But I don't mean that. Like, if it's in the cards for me, I will gladly. It's like a part of I feel like. Why, my, wait, because you say that all the time. What what makes it like not for you? Like, no, no, what do you no, mean? Like, like, I don't know what the future holds. I of course. But do is I that want not, children? Yeah. One day. Of course. One day. Yeah. Do I want them this year? No. Do yeah. I want them? You know, next week? No. Am I anxious to get married to have kids? No. But what if it happened tomorrow? The thing is, like, I understand it can't happen, and I was thinking about it. I really did sit for a second, and I was like, you know what? I'll adjust because I'm able to handle change management, let alone my own child, right? I was talking about even like, okay, you know, when you eventually marry someone, I'm starting to think this way. I am. I'm more openly uh, getting healthy. comfortable with, yeah. okay, I'm sitting at home in the comfort of my own space watching TV, eating food, you know, everything's clean. And I'm like, let me just imagine living with a man right now. Let me imagine my husband coming home and, oh, I got to make dinner. Like, let me imagine. And I'm comfortable with the idea of it, but it's scary. I'm going to be so honest. It's so scary because change change is scary that type of shift where inserting someone into your space is scary right especially at that capacity where you're a husband and wife or you're a mother and father you know so I'm not gonna lie and say that I'm doesn't I'm not always anxious about that but I also know myself that if and when it happens for me I'll handle it so well because I can handle it I've been through things where I've been able to take change in my life and you know have to navigate through that and I know that's just another thing that one woman can handle naturally it's just we're built that way and I've seen it I've seen it in people I'd never even think had the ability to like mother a child and you see them transition into beautiful motherhood and it's just like the most inspiring thing because naturally it just comes to us and you know you create this life and it's like how could you not but um knowing myself speaking for myself I'm completely comfortable with the idea of it because I know that it'll change me for the better and I'll be able to handle it and I still also know how strong I am in terms of my work ethic and routine that I can still manage a great schedule and the mothers don't come for me because like you say that now you know like wait till I have kids but I really am so content with how I live my life that I think I can handle anything in terms of like uh, when it comes to my life and creating a schedule and a routine and not taking care of someone or something, I think I can just add it into my life in the best way possible, God willing, if it's meant for me, and including, you know, a partner, and, and just take it on for what my life is then now. It's like my new life, and it'll be beautiful. I mean, you tell me you're married. Like, what is that like? It's definitely, like, I, I don't know because we don't live with each other yet, but, like, I, I am under the impression that things will change eventually, right? Mm -hmm. Like, once you move in with your partner, like your lifestyle and their lifestyle are going to kind of collide and then you you create this like harmonious way of living and it's different it's change is scary right especially for me because i'm an only child like it's always been about me it's been fairly easy where it's like i've been coddled and like i can do what i want say what i want in the comfort of my own home without a, there being another you know someone to say no or whatever of course my parents i listen to them and stuff like that but like with kids too I think you'll develop your sense of like identity now with a kid or now with a partner, right? It's like a different Mila, a different version of it. And you also will have like motherly instincts and like fatherly instincts for me, right? Where like now you have a different source of motivation for life mm -hmm. because now you brought like this little little being into your into the world, right? And you have to protect, provide, et cetera, for them, right? And they're only looking at, like, you're their world. Like, yeah. in order for them to survive, it's all about what you can do for them, right? So it's like, I know. It, it's it's crazy. See, like, Tam posted a, a Snapchat today, and it was uh, her and baby C just chilling, right? And they were like, she was, like, using a filter. And it just hit me that Tam's a mom. We always talk about, like, right? And I was like, I can't believe that. Like, I literally was watching her I Snapchat, know. and I was like, Tamina is a mom, Mashallah right? Masha. And she's barring it. She's providing so for, her, it. for her kids. She's like, 
hanging out with them, laughing, joking, because again, like we know. And she's also so inspiring, and this goes to all women. She's also running a business. She's being a wife. She, oh, I'm a shout out. She's literally texting me. Crazy. Yeah. Um, you know, she's, and my sister, another great example. I was like, just say still, that, yeah. like, your life goes on whether you get married or have kids. And again, I'm someone who has no husband, no kids, but I can see that, you know, beauty comes out of that. And I, I think for me, what's more so difficult to swallow and like, is not that the idea of all that is a beautiful, positive idea. I'm more scared of the unknown of like what can come if something happens, what can come if like it doesn't work out, you know, not to think that way because I'm so uh, in touch with my faith that I believe that, you know, whatever's meant to happen will happen. I have a strong um, just intent with myself and God in terms of I'll accept anything that comes my way. But it is scary to think about the rest of your life now being a mother, now being a wife in terms of like, you know, what if things happen? What if people change? What if things, you know, like what kind of mother am I going to be? And it's more so scarier in our generation with the direction that the world is also going. I think raising kids in this environment, the way the kids are growing up, it's scary to see that. And it's just like the anxiety comes from like wanting to be the best parent and wanting to be the best partner and being the best headspace of like, I want to do it the right way if there even is a right way, but also trying to be the best version of myself and accept that phase of my life when I'm there. I'm not saying that I'm not open to it. I'm just saying I know where I'm at now. And like, yeah, a relationship, a partnership is what I want. Not children yet. Because it's just not the phase that I'm in yet. I want to be in that headspace, that best version of myself when in a few years when it does happen. You but know? That, that anxiety will always be there just in life in general. Like you don't go to a new job and you're just like, Oh my God, what if it doesn't work out? I just got hired, but what if, what if I get fired tomorrow? Like, yeah, that possibility will always be there. Right. But like, sure. you can't let your life be dictated by like the what if, or else you'd go mad. But you know what is scary in my opinion? What's scary is, is like, let's say for example, you get into a relationship, right? And you're in this relationship since a young age, right? And you get to a point where you are not fully in the relationship because you felt like you didn't do the things that you wanted to do before. Like you didn't date, mm -hmm. right? You didn't experience life. Like you didn't really date other people and you don't know what's out there. So now you're one foot in one foot out and you're confused now and you're complacent and you're not really, and that's where problems arise, right? Like when you have a kid, you, you have a kid and the people that are so, you know, sad. And there's this thing called like postpartum, right? That's literally like a, like a physiological thing that a lot of women go through. It's not only that your body is changing, well, your, then. your mind is changing and stuff. It's like you, your life kind of changed They're completely. They're also being born. They're also as exactly a mother. as yeah. a mother. And it's a new life that you're still like, this is so different than my previous life. Like I didn't get to travel. I didn't get to experience life. I didn't get to do this. And now I have to, you know, so that's, what's kind of scary. And that was the question I was going to ask you. Do you think a lot of those things uh, you're, you're saying that like, you're not ready in this stage is because you still have things to accomplish until you get to that stage. Yeah. So in a sense we're like, you know what I mean? I want to do more things with, my life in terms of traveling, my career and all those things, but I, I want to do it with a person, which is why I want a relationship, which is why I want to get married eventually. And I then want to have kids eventually is what I mean. You know, I, I am at a place where, yeah, I, I have all, I, I don't want to be single for my freedom. Like I can, you know, like a healthy relationship still involves freedom in my opinion. So it's like, you know, you're just now doing it with someone, which is even better. Like I actually want a partner to travel with now. Like I've traveled alone for so long and I love it and I'm loving doing it with my my family I want someone to share that that interest with and to to build new memories and experiences with and so in that sense I want to do those things I'm not afraid of like getting married and thinking that all my dreams and aspirations are going to go on hold if anything I feel like the right partner will add so much value to that and uplift you in so many ways and be your backbone and I want to be that for someone too I want to uplift someone's life I want to bring uh motivation and just like you know efforts into their life that make it better so I'm ready for that I'm ready for that and I I am trying every day to learn what that means to get into that headspace. And it's a lot of self-work. Remember, we talked about this. It's a lot of me reflecting on how I am as a person, how I'm being read, my energy, all these things, so that I can create an environment where I can invite a partner into my life, too. You know, it's not just like I need to find the best person for me. I want to be in the best place, too, so that I can share those memories with them. And then eventually with kids, if we're both in that same space, too, because, you know, like you have to be on the same page. And that's another scary thing is like, Having kids with someone is a big, it's scary. It's like you're raising human beings. You want to make sure 
you're aligned. And also, you know what I've what I've seen in a lot of relationships that like go through like a lot. I think that it's important to not only we talked about, you know, there this being a new life for you and your partner once you move in together. You your worlds kind of collide and now you have this new identity, but also with that new identity, keeping a form of your individuality and your own identity in that relationship. That's why when I see like moms that are stay at home moms, like my mom's a stay at home mom, right? But I've understood that her happiness shouldn't be solely being a mother and being like this, you know, stay at home mom that caters. She should still have her own form of identity of who she is right like she's also human going through this human experience that deserves like if she wants to work if you want to be a stay home mom and just be you feel me you could do that and that's like you can find your form of identity through going to pilates and like doing going and doing this and that you feel me but still at the end of the day it shouldn't be tied directly like your entire world is just yes i'm not saying that like like if that works for them though a lot of women or even men husbands will ch- I think you need to just figure out who you are and be so comfortable with and yourself. Be you, though. That's yeah. what I'm saying. When you have like found yourself, it becomes so easy to allow anybody else in your life. I think a lot of people who hit that bump of like, what's my purpose? What's my purpose? Okay, I got married and I have kids. I think I just have to be a mom and a wife now. Like, maybe they had never been content with where they were to begin with. And so getting married and having kids was just something that happened along the way. And that now they believe is the only way. I don't think that's the case. You know, I hope that when I reach that point in my life that I can still be this but you're still individual exploring. that's doing all these things yeah. that I'm doing now, working on these projects that I'm doing now. Right. Like, and those are conversations that you have to have with people when you're building the philosophy of what marriage looks like, what relationships look like. You have to have that compatibility and alignment so that, you're very aware of who each other is so that when you take that step with each other, that still exists and it doesn't disappear. And I see that happening in a lot of relationships. A lot of the times they're just very young too and they grow up together and they grow apart. So I think taking your time naturally and getting to know someone helps a lot too, which is why maybe I'm so reserved, why I've been so reserved because I'm not going to just throw myself at the first thing that's ready to marry me or settle with me. I need to make sure it makes sense because it is a partnership and then you want a foundation of a friendship, a partnership, everything else comes naturally in my opinion is what I'm learning. And I think we're all like ongoing projects until we're not here. I don't think that there's going to be a moment where you just figured it all out and there's no problems in your life and you are just this perfect Zen. You understand the world like everything can go go perfect in your life. And then one thing will happen and you're back to square one. And that's okay. And I think that's the secret of life. Like, even if you do have kids, even if you do get married, the the story is not over. No, it's ongoing. Then another layer will come and then another layer will come and then another layer. And it's just being able to like weather those waters and making sure that you stay afloat and you're happy through it all. I think it's become very extreme. You're either on one side now or you're on the other. It's become way too extreme. You're either um, a family working mother or father of kids and that's your life or you're the single person who's not ready for marriage and kids. There can be a very healthy balance in between of people who are just figuring it out and are together in a relationship working towards that. But are we always figuring it out? We are. That's what I'm saying. When I sit here and I'm like, oh, God, like like I was this way a few years ago, like having kids is going to hold me back from my life. That's not. It's like, okay, I have kids and I still go on from there. I still do all these things I want to do. Whatever. It may look different. It may be a little bit more sleepless nights, but it's like you can like your life still goes on, like you said, and you just figure it out. And I see it and it's beautiful. So it's like there's no need to separate these life styles it's just a matter of where you are at in life and working with that i agree Niels. wild wild where can they find us youtube.com slash the demo podcast tdp we out we out